You could watch this if you want. What's this? 572 views 11 days ago. What is this? The government's pressure to make us all live by liberal ideologies is literally destroying my life. Oh my god. I... Uh, are we gonna really watch this? You just drop this in chat on me and you just... Is it... <laughs> okay, but I gotta be really intoxicated if we're gonna watch this. Because I hold conservative opinions that differ from the government approved opinions. I'm hated even by family members. My husband found himself a new like-minded feminist to take my place. <laughs> oh, damn, you got cucked by the femoids, by the feminists. Oh, that sucks for you. Oh, no wonder you're spiteful and conservative. My social media accounts have been taken down because I express opinions like, I think it's better to execute murderous criminals as opposed to unborn babies. I also stated that it was wrong for people who have never owned slaves to pay reparations to people who have never been slaves. Wow, they must have really wanted, wanted to hang you for that one, the liberals. That comment alone made me an enemy to all of my so-called accepting liberal friends. Oh, come on. I was I was joking. I'm, you know, I don't think we should all be forced to pay reparations. You're an enemy of the state. OK, well, OK. They even told me I'm not allowed to talk about slavery because I'm a white woman. I can't Even believe the that. the biggest slave population is made up of white girls who are human trafficked into sex slavery. I'm I think they probably meant chattel slavery, not uh, whatever. Supposed to pay back student loans for losers, even though I went to work instead of college. The government claims that those adult students were too young to understand the contract terms of their loans, but that prepubescent children can choose to have life altering and permanent sex change operations. Okay, so. Is this a movie or is this just her ranting? Is this just her complaining about liberals? I gotta hate fucking poli- Dude, I'm not saying movies can't be political, but when movies are just so like beat you over the head political, when all when all they have is a message, but but no like history in filmmaking or passion for filmmaking, they just have a message and they're using movie and film as just a delivery tool for that message and nothing else. It not really as an art form, then yeah, you're going to get dry, uninspired, hack nonsense like this. What, what is she even, is she just walking through nature? What, where is she? My own pro-choice mother refuses to see me in person because I don't want to be injected with the government toxins they call a vaccine. Oh my God. But worst of all, because I won't go along with liberal ideologies, I lost the most important person in my life. What? What? What is this? Wait, what? had added the edicts that women must What the? What? 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 I'm, I'm sorry. What just happened? This is this is a new type of paywall that is this. I gotta give it. To the directors of this movie they have found a way to make paywalls even more annoying and antagonizing by only informing you of their existence five minutes in and not by any because the thing the thing is most times when you see like a movie that's like on youtube that's not really on youtube it'll only be like it'll say like full movie then you click it's only a minute long and it's an ad to go somewhere else like ah you got me and so but no they just include like what 50 percent of the movie here to get you to Go to the other website. That is unbelievably aggravating. Wow. I didn't think you could make a paywall more annoying, but they found a way. Partners, usually younger and always beta men who are in touch with their feminine sides. Oh my God, is she still going? Now she's complaining about beta men. Okay, so we've touched abortion, social media, beta men, the Fauci ouchie, uh, a feminist cucking her. I mean, man, she is, um, she has a pedestal, doesn't she? Soy boys who find masculinity to be- Oh my gosh. Men who would have died right away if they were born in the wild west or medieval times. Or- You would have caught gonorrhea and died. I'm sorry, but yeah. 
any time other than now where they can play video games into adulthood and stare into glowing screens for a living. Like the man I ended up- Instead of walking out in the wilderness like her. Choosing as my partner. Beautiful. Possibly the defining bad choice in my illustrious career of bad choices. Okay, I'm too curious. What's the IMDb? They want us woke, not awake. Okay, so that's the name of the movie. Director Rene Pereira's and the writer is Rene Pereira's. And then three stars. More like this. Pro gun, pro God. Whoa, what's this? Pro God, pro gun. In order to keep a promise, Vietnam War veteran Colton returns a precarious locket to a fallen soldier's family. In doing so, this lost soul will find God, love, and the fight of his life. Oh, yeah, man. This, this is part of a great extended universe. Pro gun, pro God. Jesus love the AR. <laughs> I went for a hike to connect with nature, to clear my head, or maybe to find something to take away the pain of my loss. When I got all the way up, I had the urge to make one more bad choice. Did she go? Whoa, what? What? Wait. Oh. Dude, this movie comes at you like a freight train. Okay, I did notice. She mentioned it offhand. I did notice she was walking outside. I almost missed that. But now she's going to kill herself? I was... I, my mom <laughs> said I'm not liberal enough to visit her because I'm not fauci algae and I was banned on social media, and I got cucked. So is this really it? I thought she was going after everybody else for being a soy boy libtard, but you're going to throw yourself off of a... Off of a mountain because he got banned on twitter my god a long moment i thought i could just throw myself off and end the suffering take the easy way out what's suffering you got banned on twitter my friends won't don't like me anymore because i what was it it was i i, I abortion's bad for those of you just joining us, Sasha is the mother you haven't been hearing about on the news. The media won't talk about how her little boy was taken from her because she wouldn't pretend it was okay for her school to convince him he was transgender. Folks, the government has now resorted to snatching children out of the arms of the parents who don't comply with their tyranny. Sasha, how long has it been since you've seen your little boy? It's been over a year now. 392 days to be exact. That's devastating and cruel. So they just had to like make a scenario up in order to get angry about it because this hasn't happened because it isn't real and isn't a real threat. I want to ask you about your husband. Ex-husband. My mistake. Your ex-husband, he was awarded so cussy of your child. Can you tell me how this happened? Now that it has, that's how you know it ain't real. Cause the man got custody. That's how you know this is all make, make believe fairy tale dust. Come on, get out of here. When my son started coming home from school saying he thought he was transgender, I got angry. I went down to the school and told them to stop poisoning my son with their sexual perversions. I thought I was justified in defending his innocence, but according to them, I made the wrong decision. The school called my ex and he went ahead and got a lawyer. A lawyer to go after the school? No, to go against me. He and his feminist girlfriend claimed that I was harming my son by not allowing him to choose his gender. The school told the lawyer I was crazy and the judge agreed with them. You were right to be outraged. I don't think all teachers are bad. I just- Excuse me for interrupting, but- the Honestly, it would be much funnier if they just let it play out. Like, she has her kid, and instead of, like, doing the after, like, because I thought how the movie opened, that this was, like, an end times movie. <laughs> when this opened up on a podcast, I was confused. I thought it was, like, and, and then the liberals destroyed the world, because I was like, why the fuck is she hiking in the middle of nowhere? 
why why not just open with her with her kid and then have her kid taken away because i don't know like rupaul kidnapped them or whatever like why not go through that and just show you know showing instead of telling is is you know a good way to go about it whatever whatever i don't want to argue with these movie making geniuses the way i see it there are many teachers who have quit their jobs because they have morals the ones that stay and force the government rules have chosen a side those people have a name what would you call those people collaborators <laughs> in my opinion collaborators i'm sorry this is this is we're going to make your children gay <laughs> We're going to put your children in the gay camp and we're going to make them do the Zuru Paul in the drag time. And that label goes out to anyone who knows what's right, but still sides with evil just to keep their job. You don't have to, it's real easy to work with them. I understand at first it was tough to understand, to, to adopt all this trans stuff, but look, Look, if you get in now, if you get in on the ground level, we can both get away with being non-binary, okay? And, and then they'll let us go. We won't have to, we, we can get away pretty easy. We, we can live in the wood. <laughs> I, what is this universe? Where do they live? Ops. Because the thing is, is, if you look at the background, wanted for treason, that's Joe Biden back there. So this all assumes Joe Biden's still president. So is this like, is this like, Biden's America is Biden still alive? Biden's been able to accomplish this much control in like such a short time. I'm just what's the timeline in this universe? Is this the same universe as our universe? Or is this like a different universe where something different happened? People. Collaborators. Collaborators. In my opinion, that label goes out to anyone who knows what's right, but still sides with evil just to keep their jobs. Every Ein Rock? What was it? Ein Volk? Ein Reich, Ein Biden. Like, I, what collaborators? I, come on. Teacher, doctor, it's so over the top. Doctor, policeman, soldier, government worker, official who puts their jobs in front of their morals will be labeled by history as collaborators. You goddamn right. Collaborators emboldened the tyrants to put a stranglehold on us. My son is a boy. He was born a boy. He was perfectly fine until he was exposed to this delusion that you can magically transform into the opposite sex. That's not, that's not what any of the, that's not what anyone's saying you magically transform the other sex. It's all, gender dysphoria. Now the, no doctor would be like, so gender dysphoria, how it works is, is that up until now your boy was a boy and then last night he was touched by the gender fairy and now he's a girl, so. <laughs> It is what it is, you know, the gender fairy strikes in the night. And I respect all of the teachers, policemen, everyone who has quit their jobs because they could not in good conscience continue to enforce these hateful liberal ideals. Hateful. I know there are a lot of you. I like you, like if you listen to how she's like, these, these delusional uh, perverts, delusional perverts who think that, that you're, they're trans. How hateful of them. <laughs> The media doesn't want to give them any attention to show the world their bravery. To all those, you have my respect. Wow. To all those teachers who continue trying to confuse our children with liberal perversions, look at what you was cause. A mother is separated from her child. And all for what? This mother is suffering. <laughs> suffering doesn't even begin to describe it. I miss my son in a way that feels like torture. <laughs> I bet they're, I bet they're teaching him his pronouns right now. He was seven the last time I saw him. Now he's eight going on nine. I don't know what they're telling him about me. I know it's not good. He's being taught to hate me. He's my world. I used to be his. He would say, look, mom. He would run fast or jump or do something cool with his toys. That was, can say, what a undescriptive, <laughs> My child used to run or jump or do things with his toys. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Typical child things. It's like the it's like their director just googled, what do children do? Wow. We were a team. My arms ached to hold him. My little boy. What world do we live in where the courts can do this to a loving mother? just because she doesn't think the way the liberals want her to. When the liberals can't control your thinking, they attack. And they attack in the most cowardly way possible. This, folks, is tyranny at its worst. 
Hold on. Sasha. One of our other guests wants to chime in. She's from a liberal show. I invite all opinions. Oh my God. Right, you mentioned that. Tessa. Oh God, oh no. Guys, a liberal's coming. What's he gonna do? From ABC7 News, Berkeley, California, welcome. Yes, I was listening in on the live stream while I was connecting. And I bet you have a lot to say. I feel I've gotta protect the real victims here. The folks who are being villainized. The teachers, the members of the family court who tried their best Hold at you. Wait, family court is famous for destroying families. That's your opinion. It's their track record. It's the evidence and the facts. They're a horrible institution. This is what I'm talking about. You throw blatant accusations around carelessly. It's dangerous to generalize. Damn, she got you there. I guess you don't deserve your kid after all. Ugly and hurtful. It's more dangerous to ignore corrupt institutions only to avoid being a little hurtful. Truth hurts. You've also been villainizing the LGBTQ plus community. They've gone through blood and fire to get where they are. Blood and fire? Yes, accept it. They're heroes. You mean they're the same as a fireman who runs into a burning building to save lives? Yes, they've suffered scorn and ridicule for their- <laughs> They're the same? Yes, they're the same as firemen. That's what liberals believe. Liberals believe all gay people are like firemen. They believe that they're- that they're all- that every morning the gay people deserve to be woken up with a little- little itty bitty cushion and a kiss on the cheek and a hip hip hurrah. <laughs> it's what it is beautiful. I love this. Entire lives. Now that society gives them a little respect, you conservatives go crazy. I don't know of a single straight or conservative person who's ever caused harm to a gay or transgender person ever. <laughs> well, she's got me there. I can't. Oh. Man, the mind wanders. Not a single one. Not a single. Never. Never. No one conservative has ever heard a gay person ever. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Never. Liberals are always shouting out hate speech. You're both just being typical. Liberals are famous for calling any differing opinion hate speech. Hate speech is an ugly thing. Conservatives hate a lot of what liberals have to say, but we understand freedom of speech and we tolerate it. For example, only a liberal would try to make someone lose their job over a difference of opinion. Is this just, so this, uh, this is just them like debating a shampoo bottle at this point, right? This, this is all this is. It's just them, they've crafted their image of a liberal and they have it just sitting there as a shampoo bottle and they're just knocking it down over and over. Because what, what they're having is the liberal sets up a point, they knock it down and then they move on. Is the liberals ever really have a response here? It's just, just to set up a point, knock it down, move on. Set up a point, knock it down, move on. It's like um, you, when you were a kid, did you ever have one of those boxing inflatable th things that you hit and it knocks down and it comes back up? You guys, uh, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, it just, it's coming back up. Just get knocked down, come back up. That's all she is. She's a punching bag. You tolerate us? Is that why your entire show is about how wrong transgender people are? All I did was tell the school teachers to stop promoting sexual perversions to my son. What's wrong with kids learning about alternatives? Why are you against diversity? That's sick. What's sick is an adult insisting on talking to small children about anything sexual. You're also, when did sex come in? I didn't hear anything about sex. They were just transgender. I, I, like, I, honestly, I, I would think if it was gay, if the kid came home and said it was gay, then I get the sex line more. But, I mean, trans doesn't necessarily mean anything about sex. You can be trans and asexual for all I know. I mean, I'm all I know, you could be. I mean, I... I it, okay. Just intolerant, and you want to keep people with different sexual preferences from sharing the same freedoms you enjoy. I've never cared what any adult chooses to do with their lives. Is this whole thing just her debating people? Is that all? Is this? No, it isn't. It isn't. They want to mutilate themselves and say they were born in the wrong body? Great. Have at it. Good luck. But I refuse to allow schools to mutilate themselves about sex. Any sex at all. I agree 100%. But I bet you'd be okay with schools talking to kids about Jesus, right? I'm not a person of faith. But I do know that people who have faith in God live happy lives following the teachings of selflessness and giving. How, how much you want to bet that she is a person of faith, but in this specific movie, she's playing not a person of faith, but that who happens to also have the most up, 
upstanding respect for people of faith. As a as an atheist, I just want to say God was right about everything. <laughs> now for the reverse, I've never seen any success stories of any transgender people living long, happy lives. What? Okay. Have you? I. 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 I mean, what does that even mean? Like, no. Okay. What? Not a single one? None? Like, uh, what, but what measure, what are we measuring as happy? What is, what is, uh, what, do we want to use any measurement? Because I would say probably Caitlyn Jenner is probably pretty happy. Very wealthy, you know, gets to play, you know, golf all the time. Probably one of the most famous, I would say pretty, probably, you know, I think they're old. That would be, I, what is that even? No one? Why, why is these standards so ridiculous? There's no happy trans people. They're all just sad, 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 and dead. They're either, they're young and happy or old and dead. The only options. If, if they're happy, then it's only happy when they're young. And if they're old, they're super sad. If they're unhappy, it's because of people like you. People like her don't think twice about the LGBT community until they start going after her son. Can't you even admit you made a mistake in choosing bigotry over inclusiveness? I admit, the worst mistake I've ever made in my life is allowing the government to educate my child. So you really think you know better than the child development experts that are employed by the government? Give me a break. Look, I know what's really going on here. I'm not a fool. Excuse me, but yes, you are. In fact, Liberals are such willing fools that it boggles my mind. Don't you see that you're being used as a tool by the government to promote- Why would an ABC news host even be calling into this podcast? I don't- Perversions to small children who have a right to enjoy their innocence? How long before your precious government legalizes pedophilia? Will that also be acceptable to you? Because that's where all this is leading. You're siding with the government, you're siding with evil, and- Oh no! Here come the liberals! Here come the liberals! Here they come! I'm a liberal and I'm here to say I'm gonna make your children gay! Come on, let's go, let's go! Liberals, 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 liberals! Hello, I'm the head of MS-13, also the head of the DNC. How you doing today? <laughs> Why didn't you? Because I know you're always looking for live bodies to harvest organs from. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what is the fucking liberals all Bulgarian? What is the, what are the, okay, what are these accents? I, ca I can't play some. And you want to be paid twice for the same targets. Why not? They need to die anyways. It's a win for the both of us. I make a little extra money. You get what you need from donors. Is the Albanian? I, what is this? I'm trying to place this accent. I'm trying. I'm trying hard here. That no one will ever look for. It's perfect. This one is scrawny. Hey, if you don't want them, I'll put a bullet in their heads right now and throw them in acid. <laughs> Typical liberal behavior. I use a new mixture of calcium. But is this a fucking, what is this outfit? Is he a fallout raider? Who's this guy? Is this, is this the apocalypse or not? I can't tell. Can we see a major city? Oxide, it leaves no trace. Better than acid. It sounds like you do want their organs, right? I knew you would. I'll take them. Great. Please just make sure they die when you're done. They will not survive the evisceration. The, the evisceration. I, I got ah, sick from press. These are great. Toxic I don't know what their political beliefs are, but I'm on board. If you give me the money, I'll let you get to your butcher. I'll see you out. What a very convenient time to wake up. It was very good timing for her. Very lucky. Thank <laughs> you. 
Democrats never change. Mark! Over here. What the hell's going on? Where's my phone? Why am I here? They're having us killed. They who? When I woke up, there were two guys talking about killing us. What guys? Oh, so she was away. I don't know who they are. It doesn't matter. We need to get out of here now. Why would anybody want to kill the two of us? I barely know you. We only met at the interview, right? We've never met before. The interview. That's it. Big Tech. They don't want your story to come to light. Oh my God, Bill Gates did it? Oh my God, it was Apple the whole time. Big, big Tech, he, he all put it together right there. <laughs> he looked at none. <laughs> he looked at none of the evidence. He didn't. He, he's, he's he's chained up. He's drugged. He's barely awake. <laughs> he's barely awake. He's barely awake, and he's somehow been able to put it all together. It was big tech the whole time. It was Zuckerberg. It was Zuckerberg and Elon and Bill Gates all working together. He, it, it's not just like Albanian like organ harvesters or just some criminal element that you've been kidnapped by. No, it's, it's big tech specifically going after you two for your seven viewer Twitch stream. Big Tech, they don't want your story to come to light. They want to make it normal for children to be taken away from their parents that don't obey. They have to normalize it first. Would they really kill us just for that? They can't have you go on radio shows exposing them. What the hell? Ah, uh, yes, the Big Tech uniform. You go to Facebook headquarters and that's actually what the, what the desk man wears. Hey! What the hell is this? Honestly, I'm I'm with big tech. That uniform is banger. <laughs> Actually, when you look at that, I'd wear that uniform. That's a cool standard uniform. I'd wear that. Hell yeah, I'm with big tech. Who's with big tech? I'm with big, we're with the big tech liberals, okay? Okay, we're team big tech liberals. Hey, what the hell is this? Please, let her go. Wait. Take me instead. That's right. If I'm gonna die, let me die like a man. Take me! What is the purpose of this uniform anyway? They're they're just in like a. Why does he need like a gas mask? With with what I, is that? I, I don't know what that's supposed to be at the front there. I don't know what the purpose of it. They're just in like a just an industrial zone. Is there like toxic chemical? I guess they're gonna be dipping them in acid later, right? Also, those grates on the face are way too big to stop any any anything. This damn mask is useless. Don't make me kill you here. I need you alive. What? 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 Why would? Are they all just? Are, do they all have a mental deficiency? Why would he un unchain him? Why? Just let him. You don't have a weapon or anything on you. As you wish. Oh, because he's an evil superhero bad guy. Because this is now a Marvel movie, and he can just like overpower him instantly. Got you. Blood. This is the lamest murder scene ever. What is it? 
is he doing? He's just... I'm not even gonna comment on how bad that blood looked. But look awful. <laughs> I don't understand why she run. She already knew she was chained up. Chained up. Does she have like bad object permanence? That well, whatever. Tons of turns, My huh? Keys. Oh, what? I excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Are they monetizing the the her bazambas? Really? They're monetizing the conservative booba. Uh, wow, I didn't expect them to do that. I just expected them to like tastefully like cut to her neck like a bunch of people, like a bunch of normal movies would. Or just show it because they're not, you know, children. But no, no, they gotta monetize the conservative booba. <laughs> Why? I have no way to lock the chains now. Did you toss my keys along our path? Was this part of some plan to escape? What is she doing? This will immobilize you. And it will keep you fresh. Type behavior. Wagner liberals. Again with the. Just show it or don't show it. Don't... Pesky rabbits. It's conservative season.
What a weird movie, man. They're really trying, man. We're gonna take back this country for Trump! From these liberal Bulgarian organ harvesters. This is like rust right now. Oh no! Stay still. Make your passing quick. Make your you passing quick. You do not cease quick. this attack. I will make your death slow and painful. Damn! Oh my god! I have a feeling that guy says broad, man. Oh my goodness. You surprise me, little one. I was informed of the circumstances of your troubles. The reason why you were scheduled to be killed. You have much suffering, yet you lust for life. As if you want to suffer more. I learned you're a conservative. Awful. I kill myself personally. <laughs> anyway, I'll do it. <laughs> what is the speech? An interesting conundrum. I have forgotten my reasons to go on. I wonder if you can help me remember. This weapon has one round. It's for you. <laughs> Careful. I am alone here. And the keys are far out of our reach. If you shoot me, you will be stuck to this chain until you die of exposure. Please let me go. I can't take any more. You will die slowly, painfully, with the rust infecting your wounds. Do it. Set me free. The stale air surrounding your lungs as you starve to death. Damn. A tortured way to- he's, he's, the, he's the center of the movie, man. I, he's the center of the movie. He's the most compelling character, man. He's, he's the most compelling character of the three, TBH. Die. I'm with, I, again, man, I'm on team liberal Bulgarian organ harvester. The chain is far too heavy to be broken. He deserves his own spin-off series, TBH. Small caliber. I gotta stop saying TBH. Bullet. TBH. If you want sweet release, use the bullet on your cranium. It will be a quick death. Painless. As soon as I hear the shot. Is this how conservatives actually see Joe Biden? Is that how they think this is all gonna end up? Is this really... Is there like five to ten percent of the country that thinks this is basically it? This is all how it's gonna go. Like eventually, it'll get this bad. You think it's even bigger than that? It's bigger than five to ten percent. There can't be more than ten percent of the country that actually buys this. Man, I'm I'm actually worried it might be more. We'll come back to unlock you. Please leave your heart intact. A bullet to the head is like slipping into a bed with silk sheets. It will be over before you know it. Painless release from all your troubles. I will be listening for your shot. Do 
He's gonna shoot the keys, isn't she? No, that'd be the stupid. Don't, don't. It'd be funnier if she threw the gun. That isn't a good, quite an ultimatum. You're all right, Sepson. Uh, kill me and die a painful death or kill yourself and end it quickly. It's interesting, at least. Again, he's the most compelling part of the whole, uh, the whole uh, mini movie. Please, Tucker Carlson, please come save me. Trump? Michael Flynn? Just stop. Oh my gosh. Is it? Benjamin Netanyahu? No, no. Still stuck. This is, this is liberal saw, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't even... What, what's happening? Did he get an infection? What is happening? I'm so confused. What is, what is going on? She had like a bad lunch? It's exposure? Left the again to burn in my misery. What the hell was that? Sorry, I didn't hear that. But the, you guys are saying exposure maxed? No. You guys are saying exposure. Did this happened in exposure? In exposure, do you start doing that do you start like coughing up blood Does that happen in exposure i've never heard of that happening in exposure i've never no yeah i didn't think so either i no i was just trying to feel like there has to be something to it did she just start <laughs> throwing up blood oh maybe she has the vid man you never know vid's still killing man locked away again to burn in my misery what is that? I, I heard that the first time. That's why I rewind. What was that? No, I thought about it was you. Oh, the narration. Every day we make many choices. At least she didn't shoot some the are chain. Big, and some are small. But they all add up to be our character in our lives. People usually know the difference between right and wrong when two paths appear before them. The right choice just tends to be the harder path. solutions to strip. <laughs> such a weird movie, man. It's such a weird movie. What is she 
gonna do? Okay, I get it. Trixie little hobbits. Won't go well if he just chops her up though. Get that evil villain monologue now. Husband? Oh, that'd be awful. Who's it gonna be? Set me free. As you wish. Oh. Now what? <laughs> In the end, I made the hard choice. And I risked everything I had. Everything I had left. My body, my wow. mind, my soul. And their child detransitioned as well. I fought for you harder than I'd ever fought before. And because I fought for what was right, I was rewarded with the greatest gift of all. That's not how it works a lot, but okay. You. That makes no sense. So she broke out and then they just gave her her kid back? I, what? That's, that doesn't figure anything out. <laughs> the executive producer, Tom Hart. Wow, Tom. Great job, Tom. You sir did something here. <laughs> You sure, you're, you sure thought up a, thought up something special here. Emmy immediately. The insurrection. Oh my God. Yes. I want to watch all of these now. I want to watch all of these. Can we get the insurrection 2020? No, uh, movie. That helps. Anything? Let's look at the trailer. I just want to see the trailer. I uh, say the truth. About what? About what I really do. And we're live in five, four. Oh, AOC. Three. Yeah, oh. Thought provoking. What? You realize what? what you just <laughs> said on a live broadcast? They'll have you killed. What? What am I supposed to take from that? 
sure. Yeah, you have. Sure, there was something. Come on. I'm sorry. There, I don't even have time for the gimmicks anymore. Fuck their gimmicks. I need you to protect me. Hollywood would dare not tackle. Will you stand God. with me? To the death. To the death. By the time this video goes public, oh my God. I'll be dead. I'll have been murdered. We're pinned down. You gotta help us. because I exposed the following. So it's just conservative fan fiction. That's their whole... Uh, uh, Rene Perez film is just conservative fan fiction. There's no comment. This has 269,000 views, not a single comment. Okay, well, okay then. <laughs> This is really just like conserv it's just conservative fan fiction. All these are just conservative fan fiction to the, to the fullest extent. We're the biz biggest victim and then we win. We're the biggest victim because we're vic because we're the victim even though the left thinks they're victim and then we win. And over and over and over again. Okay, well. Be the first Dylan, you're right. Are you and running. Uh -huh. There we go.